Bonjour, buenos dias, good morning. Back in the fall, fall 2018, I bought some clothes that I couldn't fit into them because I was too small. So yesterday I tried two of the pants and I'm ecstatic to share with you that I was able to fit them. So I am delighted that I'm gaining happy weight. I have on a floral dress today sunflowers very nice there's some cleavage the yellow earrings to go with i'm coming to you early bright and early this morning to share the following message as christians hardship is meant to draw us closer to god it's not a punishment think about it how many times have you found yourself in a situation where you needed to reach out to the few people that you have on that on speed dial on your phone people that you look up to for guidance for mentorship for wisdom and you couldn't wish any of them it's not like they're all plotted to ignore you no it's god telling you that all you need is him you need to talk to god first because at the end of the day when you put all your faith in people they are humans just like you so sometimes they won't be around but god is omniscient and omnipresent sometimes they're going through their own things Sometimes they choose not to be around. It's human's nature. You cannot put your faith in uh, mankind. You gotta put your faith in God. If you know me, one of my sayings is like, who made you God? That goes to all the people who are judgmental because I believe that as Christians, we have to bring people to the kingdom through love, not judgment. Nobody's perfect. And we all had a life. We all had a past before we came to Christ. We are not perfect. That what sets us apart from the rest is that he nailed it on the cross and we've accepted that fact. It's salvation, but it doesn't mean that we're better. It doesn't mean that we're perfect. So let's all humble ourselves and not act as though we are holier than the. The point I'm making here is the same way as I ask, who made you God? Ask yourself, who made these people God? That you have to put all your faith, all your trust, all your energy, that you look up to them all the time for advice. And again, let's be honest sometimes we know what we need to do most of the time we know what we need to do but we just need what it is is sympathetic ears and if that's what you need that's okay go talk to god first and if you still need to get it off your chest tell people oh you know what i just need you to listen to me i just need to vent instead of them to give you an advice that you're not going to follow because at the end of the day you're going to do what you need to do so that there's no miscommunication misunderstanding so just say i just need to vent and add, add, uh, at that point they're not gonna pressure they're not gonna feel the pressure to give you an advice and you're not gonna feel the pressure to follow through because let's say they're telling you to leave somebody but you're still seeing the person in secret it creates a lot of unnecessary drama for no reason so the next time the world drives you to your knees the next time that things are just going left you are facing trials and tribulations just get down on your knees and pray to god bring up bring it up to god at any time he is there for you at any time and you will see when you talk to god first about things you feel so much lighter you feel so much peace because when you talk to people too remember i always tell you that every time god is at work so is the enemy so you don't know which voice is coming but when you're talking to god he he will give you peace serenity calmness tranquility that's when you know it's from god and there's no pressure there's no judgment there it's just you unloading and it's in a safe place get in the habit of praying whatever happens oh, okay i was into a car accident this morning this is an example it didn't happen to me oh lord jesus have your way help me protect me heal me let me not hurt let the other party not be hurt what should i do what it is you wanted me to learn through this way and keep me safe keep me focused because nine out of ten i was not paying attention but Keep me focused whatever is wearing me down i cast all my burdens my cares on you jesus i just want to focus on you 110 percent and you guys know that in the bible you're not supposed to put anything or anyone before god i've been at a place where i made some people god but that's draining it's it's draining it's i was fatigued all the time and it's not fair to them or to me I mean, some people are narcissistic, so they like to be worshipped, but it's not. There is a God, there is a God. We are all humans at the end of the day, and when you go to God first, you have a clear direction. You have lightness, you have peace that you cannot 
begin to express and you will grow much faster when you go to God it draws you closer to your purpose when you go to God it strengthens you it gives you the strong to bear and when you go to God it's not a secret he knew that's gonna happen to you he's not gonna be surprised he's not gonna be annoyed he's not gonna get tired he's not restless he's not judgmental he knows that all these things are going to happen to you. So get in the habit of going to the source for any and everything instead of using resources. And just know people's place in your life. Yes, the Bible tells us about fellowship. But people are here just to go through life like you. To go through their own experiences and stuff. Let's get in the habit of not uh, overburdening others because we're all going through stuff. So just go to God first and he will give you the right answer. He will never mislead you. He will never fail you because his word says he can do anything but fail you. So just, just see the L's are lessons and learn from them. And every day, every, every given time, get in the minute, every given minute, get in the habit of asking yourself, God, why is this happening? What is going on? Make sure that you're prepared because when you do that, you're going to get revelations through dreams, manifestations, through vision, through people, through signs, through numbers. Are you ready for that? You have to be ready. Again, when things are going left in your right, it's just God reminding you, hey, my child, you've drifted a little bit. Get closer to me. It's not a punishment. It's not that you are being given more than you can burn. That's that. And also, while I'm at it, um, back to my statement, who made you God? Uh, get in the habit of not jumping to conclusions or not using words that you don't want to come into existence. For instance, somebody's always like making jokes on you, not funny jokes, and makes you uncomfortable. Just straight to the point. Okay, when you do this and that, it makes me uncomfortable. I feel project the issue on you because we live in a world people in the world are very narcissistic and very seldom do their own up how can we fix that how can i not feel that way just stick to the long story short stick to the facts don't 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 do any analysis don't draw any conclusions just stick to the facts and you'll see people will respect you much more for that and as always bring everything to prayer i cannot stress that enough that's why I was reminded that yesterday uh, God is like I'm drawing you near to me and as Christians that's what we have to do look up to him read the Bible all the answers are there you know people places things are just temporary they're not always gonna be there when you need them but God is sure to be there at any time and there's no secret about you he knew you since your mother mother's home he, knew, he knows all the hair you have on your head. So how great is that? So today I want you to just surrender. Surrender. Get in, the, uh, get in the habit of letting go and trusting when you cannot see. And get in the habit of saying thank you when you face us. Thank you because I'm equipped for the battle. Thank you that you've equipped me for the war. So for the full outfit and air style, follow me on Instagram at Aisha for his glory. Don't forget to like my Facebook page, Dress for Success with Aisha. As you know, I'm a notary public. I'm an accountant. I'm a fashion stylist, and I'm a wedding officiant. You can email me any inquiries at aishaforhisglory at gmail.com. The spelling of my first name, Aisha, is A-I-C-H-A because it's the French spelling. I look forward to talking to you guys soon. I love you. Be safe. Enjoy Friday, Friday Eve, Friday Junior and have a terrific, shrilling Thursday. Mwah, mwah, mwah.